Hello and welcome once again to Morgate Andrology and today I want to talk about a thicker penis, how to get more penis girth. So you know at Morgate Andrology this is the most common procedure that we perform. We perform a lot of penis enlargement surgery and most guys will go ahead and have uh, both uh, the penis lengthened and thickened at the same time. But when it comes to penis thickening, you do have uh, a couple of uh, choices. And uh, the first one is the most common, and that is with a fat transfer to increase your penis girth. Uh, as I mentioned in previous videos, if you're having your penis lengthened, and most do, then uh, virtually all guys will choose to have uh, a fat transfer to increase the girth since it works out cheaper to have both done together and as with the lengthening surgery here you're going to get a permanent result so the the fat transfer um, is done by harvesting some fat from your belly or your inner thighs we choose these two areas because number one most guys have a little bit of uh, fat around there and secondly because this is the site where we have the best quality fat and that's also important and when this fat is removed we put this fat through a purification system that removes blood um, oils dead cells from the fat before it's uh, injected into the penis and this will make the fat easier to work with and also improve its survival rate um, now, when the fat is injected into the penis, this will thicken it uh, by at least an inch, flaccid and erect. So you get the benefit of, of uh, a thicker penis, both when your penis is flaccid and when it's erect. Now, when you first had a fat transfer done, how your penis looks on day one is not how your penis is going to look eventually. Why? Because... Uh, we do quite a big fat transfer, uh, big fat transfer uh, here at Moorgate because our urologists have considerable experience with uh, with penis enlargement surgery, and we do a big fat transfer because we know even though we purify this fat, around thirty percent of this fat will absorb naturally in the first three months or so after the surgery. Um, and even after the absorption, you can still expect those penis girth gains. And obviously an extra inch or two in, uh, in flaccid and erect girth makes a massive difference to the penis. And there you have a result uh, that lasts. So uh, the first option and the most common option, still the gold standard really, is a fat transfer to increase your penis girth. Now there is another way to increase penis girth and that's with the use of uh, dermal fillers. Now dermal fillers are um, hyaluronic acid injections, hyaluronic acid existing in our bodies in small quantities naturally. Uh, we have a man-made form of it which is injected into the penis to increase its girth. Now, most of the time across the world, hyaluronic acid is injected into the face. It's used to fill in wrinkles and plump up lips and augment the cheeks. You know, if you've got sunken cheeks, you've lost a lot of weight, you want to plump up the cheeks, it's put in the cheeks. And it's these cheek fillers that are commonly used in the penis, or should be, because these particular fillers give the uh, longest lasting effect. So hyaluronic acid fillers last between six months and two years. And uh, if you're gonna have your penis augmented with dermal filler, make sure that you choose one that lasts two years. There's no point in having anything that lasts six months because you'll need a fair volume of filler. It's not a cheap procedure and you're going to need top ups. Um, after as the filler breaks down over time. So it makes no sense in having a filler that only lasts a few months. Um, 
fillers such as Juvederm, Volux are very good options for um, uh, for penis enlargement. They've had a, a long track record in penis filler. Uh, certainly at Morgate, um, you know, we've been using Juvederm for years to augment the penis, and uh, and Volux, um, which is the newer filler, has the longest duration. So most guys will choose Volux. Now, after two years or so, you will need a top up of filler to maintain the results. And that's the thing with dermal fillers is that you have to be prepared to have top up treatments to maintain the results. Uh, but lots of guys do that. You know, they find it very easy to get done. They like the idea. There's no downtime in terms of days off work or anything like that. They come in, they get the penis thickened and they go home. And they find that really convenient. Um, but uh, you need fairly deep pockets to maintain uh, penis filler treatments because you have to have it topped up. At, uh, otherwise, the penis will return to what it was before. And interestingly, many guys will start off with penis filler. And at around the first, if not the first, the second top up time, they will convert and have a fat transfer done. But plenty continue with fillers. They you know, they like the idea of, uh, of, of the simplicity, shall we say, of getting that treatment and they'll keep going. But they are the two options. So either penis filler or penis girth fat transfer. Now, if you want to know more about ways to thicken your penis, please do get in touch with us here at Morgate Andrology and we can arrange a consultation for you with one of our urologists. And get in touch if you have any questions. We're always happy to talk about penis enlargement and answer any questions that you might have. So that's all from me today. I look forward to seeing you back soon here at Morgate with more videos. But until then, bye for now.